So I've had my entire investment career at Fidelity and I joined in 2001. So I've been at Fidelity over 20 years now. And indeed, it's coming up on almost 10 years that I've been running the Special Values Investment Trust having started in September um, 2012. I also have a co-fund manager on the fund, Jonathan Winton, who helps me on this product. Um, and then my other responsibilities also include running the sister fund, the Special Situations Fund. So by far and away, the most challenging time for me in my investment career has actually come quite recently with the COVID pandemic uh, and particularly the period of February and March uh, 2020. This is a, a period where the stock market fell very precipitously and also special values fell extremely hard. So about a 50% um, fall in value of the fund over a very short period of time, about a 40% fall in the NAV. So this was actually even a more challenging period, even than the global financial crisis back in 2008 when I was managing the smaller companies fund and something that happened much more quickly. So rather than it happening over an 18 month period, as we saw in the global financial crisis, this really um, was a pandemic that took hold within about a six week period. So a much more difficult um, time to navigate, particularly as we had to work remotely. So set up a whole, whole new ways of communicating uh, with both our clients and with the, the team at Fidelity. Something though that did set up an incredible opportunity for investment out of the pandemic as we went into the summer of 2020 and particularly um, into the autumn as actually we started to see the vaccines, et cetera, come through. But often you do have that with a contrarian strategy, the worst times set up the, the best times afterwards. So I think this fund is very differentiated actually. Um, and I guess that's because we deliberately have a contrarian mindset. So obviously contrarian means going against the herd. So you need to be different from other people to, to practice that. And indeed there's very few funds uh, probably only one other investment trust in our peer group that, that has a contrarian value mindset. And certainly even in the, the wider investment world in terms of UK funds, there's probably less than a handful of the over 250 available to investors that invest in UK markets, which have this kind of mindset. So actually, what does that mean? So value funds are looking for things that other people have discarded. So that generally have some negativity attached to them and really working out where we think the market consensus has got that wrong. Um, and generally that's because there's some kind of near term issue which is clouding people's judgments, making uh, other investors think that something is a poor investment. And through our um, bottom up analysis, meeting lots of management teams, doing lots of industry work, we try and identify those cheap companies that actually aren't cheap for a good reason. Uh, the market's actually missing something. And that's where the, the opportunity for, for our performance comes from looking at those ideas that other people have discarded. So as I've talked before, the value style is very strong in the portfolio. So clearly times when growth stocks are outperforming are much trickier for this portfolio. And what's interesting actually through pretty much my whole investment career, so all the way back to sort of 2007, 2008 when we were small, starting the small cap fund, it's been a market where growth stocks have been in the ascendancy. So actually we faced a, a big headwind to performance through that, that whole period from a style basis albeit with some large counter trend rallies. So particularly over the last 18 months, we've seen um, value outperform growth. And we saw that in the back end of 16 as well. And in fact, right at the start of my tenure on the trust in 2012, 2013 too. So those have been the periods of best performance. But I think what's also highlighted by the, the 10 year numbers is that even in periods where the value style is out of um, fashion, you can still see out performance as long as you get that individual stock picking right. So even though um, growth stocks are, as a group are outperforming, if you pick the right value stocks, you can counteract that headwind. And actually it's that that I'm most proud of in the fund that we've been able to outperform even in a period that has um, been unfriendly to, to value managers.